Alex, let me come to you because I'm going to share this uh, Mikel Marino situation now because it seems like this is taking forever, bro. Um, mm. I don't know what to believe. I don't know why it's taken so long. At the moment, though, there's reports from Miguel Delaney here suggesting that we are quite some way apart. Arsenal yeah. and Sociedad are still some way apart over the structure of the amount of the deal on Marino's proposed transfer. Sociedad are holding out for 35 million euros, while Arsenal have been aiming to pay closer to 25 million. That's come from Miguel Delaney. Now, <laughs> I heard 17 million, I heard 20 million, I heard 25 million euros, I've heard 30 million euros. Now I'm hearing 35 million euros. Um, what do you make of this one, man? Do you think this one's going to happen and it's just a compromise of trying to haggle a bit and negotiate? Or do you think there'll be a little bit of a problem with this one, bruv? Uh, this is like a football friends thing. One of uh, Edu's mates that he doesn't want to uh, upset. That's what I'm hearing. So apparently, uh, the deal was kind of set. Um, that's not me again, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, essentially, what I've been told is that Edu had the deal set. They didn't want to fall out because there's good relationships with that club. And now it's a case of they're waiting and waiting and waiting. And I, I just look at it. Arsenal should be saying, right, here's the cash. Do you want it or not? Because there's other people we could be getting in. And I don't understand. He's in his last year of his contract as well. And he's specifically said, I don't want Barca. I want Arsenal. So the player as well, we could easily, it's not what I like to do, but I don't see why now we don't either just pay it or we start doing the whole thing of going, look, refuse to train, refuse to turn up. Suarez did it. And that was when we earned, what, one pound over the uh, asking price? <laughs> so, like, I just, it it just annoys me when we're haggling about a couple of mil with NK, yeah? we're then, we're saying, we all know we need a centre midfield. The left-hand side was a big problem last year. This is the person our manager said, that sorts our problem out. So just do it. Get it done. It's so frustrating. It's like, I wouldn't be surprised if like tomorrow or the next day is suddenly 45 million and then Arsenal are like, are going, oh yeah, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you 30. Just, oh, it's just, <laughs> you can tell how annoyed I am. I'm just so fed up with it because the other problem we have is right now, we've got ESR out the door. So ironically, one of the players that we have got out the door is one of the positions that we're kind of lacking in depth. If we got rid of like Kivior or Zinchenko or Tommy Asu, all of us would have gone, well, Calafiori's in. So numbers wise, we're fine. We'll be right. But right now, if Rice goes down tomorrow, then we're looking at a midfield of Jorginho probably in the six, party in the eight, and then Odegaard. Is that like, I'm guessing that would be it, wouldn't it? I mean, for me, of course I will agree. I'd have Fabio playing because I love that boy. He is the same. <laughs> we don't claim him. We don't claim him out here in Portugal. We don't no, claim don't him. Don't lie to me. Don't, don't lie to me. No, 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 no. I was out here for my cousin's wedding, yeah? I told them about Fabio Vieira. They, every, all my family, even my granddad laughed. You know what I mean? And he's 83. He laughed. He goes, who's that? They didn't even remember him. You know what I mean? But apparently, this is breakout season. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But top oh, league is no more about the Portuguese league than Portuguese people, isn't it? So let them do their thing, innit? Mate, you mentioned his name and it made your camera blur. I was worried then. Yeah, I was going to say there was a huge camera blur. I was thinking, wow, then that's what Fabi Vieira does to Northside. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Listen, Dan, uh, Dan, you see with Moreno? Oh, no. You see with Moreno? Like, what's, like, I just want to get your thoughts quickly. Like, what's... How are you feeling about him coming to Arsenal? Because I, I look at some of the reaction. Um, I see some people are ex... Um, He's bang average. He's six out of ten. Uh, what, what's your thoughts? Is he is he is he a missing piece? What, what's your thoughts, bro? I don't know if he's a six out of ten. I don't know if he's a four out of ten, and I don't know if he's a ten out of ten. Um, because I don't watch him enough, bro. Hmm. What I will say is, from what I've seen, the attributes look good. He's physically imposing. He's definitely an eight and a box to box midfielder. He's got the athleticism to go up and down. Whether he's going to be an upgrade on what Granite Chaka was, what he <laughs> left behind, I don't know. I think that's hmm. a question mark. All I will say is this should not be a hard deal to get done because yeah, if they crazy. want to 25 to 30 million for him, we should be able to easily pay that. And I've just seen this here on AFC. I'm not going to put it up. I'm going to read it out, right? I'll come to you with this, Kenny, right? Apparently, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Um, 
Arsenal been enduring slow negotiations over both the price and the instalments. We're talking about instalments here, by the way, right? Arsenal would prefer to spend and spread any agreed fee over three years. Sociedad want the money up front. So this is us then mucking around again. Why, why are we trying to pay over three years for some brother who's 30 million euros? He's 28. What the hell is going on here, bro? I don't well, understand. Dan, I, I, I read the same thing and it, I just laughed. But again, Arsenal think they can because of the the you know the fact that he's in the last year of his contract and the player really wants to come. So Arsenal think, look, they think they for some reason they probably they think they hold the cards when at the end of the day they don't. Because at the end of the day, European clubs, especially when Premiership clubs come knocking, they're not playing that game no more. They're not going to be bullied by Premiership clubs. The you know the Premiership is a wash with um, TV money, is a wash with merchandise, especially our club, you know, third biggest club in the country and one of the biggest clubs in the world. The Wolves, any kind of merchandise um, associated would get, they're going to think, no, no, we want the whole money. And so they're, they're all right to do that. But that's Arsenal itself. You know, I'm I'm not shocked by it because they've done it before. They've done it so many times. I mean, I remember. I remember. I'm even going back. Um, was it 12 years? Um, do you remember Gary Cahill? Oh, Kenny oh, took the words Gary out of my mouth. Like that that, that, Gary infuri Cahill. that infuriated me. I remember that. So angry. When, when Gary Cahill had a, a, a year left in his contract. Bolton wanted 12 million. Arsenal only offered six. And then in January, Chelsea off to six, and he went to Chelsea that and won the Champions yeah. League in yeah. the FA Cup. That that deal, that <laughs> deal, was, that deal was symptomatic so, of Arsenal. Seriously, this, 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 this isn't this isn't the Edu thing. This is an Arsenal thing. Yeah, you know, very I, true. I've been doing you know doing this for years, even back to the days when I was a, when I was a child, even under Terry Neal. That's Arsenal Football Club in itself. You know, they go on like they're this, you know, club of um, gr you know, great um, grandeur that we do things the right way. No, no, you do things the tight way, not the right way, the tight way. And I think that that's our football club in itself. In terms in terms of the player itself, I, 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 Dan, I, I couldn't help him notice you said that, that you know, um, he's not a great Jacker's level and all that, and he's not an upgrading Jacker. I thought, I thought we put that to bed last week when I, when I kind of... Um, Gave you bullet points of what Granite Jacker couldn't do as a midfielder. <laughs> I think you see, you see people uh, think that I forget because I listen. I think you're not doing it again, are you? About Granite Jacker? Oh, please. <laughs> Come on, mate. I thought I thought I thought I cured you of this. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, man, I cured you Chaka's of this done. kind of you know home and away kind of love story thing. Let it go. <laughs> Granite's not a legend. He was an okay player, but he wasn't great. And let's no, face I agree. it. If you want, if you, if I would say at least something very controversial. If I was really wanting to, you know, cause some trouble and look for someone to give me a right hand, I would say great Jacker's um, time at the club coincided coincided with our time out of the Champions League. I won't say it, but it's a fact. It is, mate. It is a fact. Um, Northside, let me let me bring this one up before you go, because I know you've got to get off soon, man. So I wanted to bring this up. This is a question from Jack, which I thought was a really good question, man. Um, so I'll let you answer this one. It says, what was the point of spending £65 million on Havertz and giving him mad high wages to fix the midfield? But now you want Marino in midfield and a new striker over Havertz. Was Havertz not a waste? Now, don't get me wrong. I thought Havertz at the back end of the season proved that he was an OK signing, right? But... It's not really about that. And I'm going to, I, I would answer that in a little bit of a different way because for me, Havertz is fine to have in the squad. But it's the way that he was incorporated into this squad and said he's a midfielder, then to play him as a nine, and then to actually need both another midfielder and another striker. I kind of got this question from Jack and I thought it's actually a really good question, bro. So how would you answer that one, bro? What was the point hiring a manager that's never done anything in world football? <laughs> <laughs> When do we do anything that makes sense? What was the point in keeping Awobi yet getting rid of Gnabry? What was the point in in giving Eddie and Ketty a new deal? What was the point in keeping Rob Holding? What was the point in keeping El Nene? What was the point in going through all those goalkeepers you you listed to then get to Rea and we still got questions? What was the point in getting Zinchenko when he was supposed to be pivotal to the way that we play football and now everybody wants him gone? Apparently he's not pivotal to the way that we play football anymore. What was the point in keeping ESI if you're not going to develop him? What was the point in bringing Nuntavaj and Lakonga if you're not going to develop him? 
both went out on loan. Both clubs, Luton and Nottingham Forest, said, no, no thanks. We're not going to make it permanent. No, no, we're all right. Luton, you know. Luton. Have you seen that place? Have you seen that place? Nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. My girlfriend's dog sleeps in a better place than that. Sorry, it's the truth. You know what I mean? No, nah, it's the truth. Listen, they don't like it. I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm telling you right now. I thought that was back in back in my home country. I thought that was back in Angola. You know what hey, I mean? I love yeah, that fan place called from Luton, mate. <laughs> nah, well, it is where it is, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I thought them li living conditions were only in Angola. I'll be real with you. You know what I mean? Big up to all my Angolans. You know what I mean? I'm part Angolan. Listen, it's the truth. What was the point? What was the point getting a, a Brazilian sporting director that has no pull in the Brazilian market? Tell me what his pull is. Nicole, what, 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 Marquinhos? Tell me what his pull is. Tell me what Arteta's pull is. What, what, well, Olmo played well in the World Cup. Why ain't he came? Nico Williams played well. Why ain't he came? I thought he's got pull. So both of our, both people that are handling our negotiations, what was the point of hiring them? They ain't even got pull in their own nation. Wenger had pull. Even a washed out Wenger had pull in his country. Mm. Yeah, we got, uh, what, what is it? Um, I think the sporting director of Real Madrid, he's Argentinian. He's got more pull for Brazilian players than Edu. He ain't even, he ain't even Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. So when you ask me that question, what's the point in what we do? I don't understand. What is what is the point in starting off as a youth project? Then it's it took Klopp four years. Then it's context. Then it's we can't win until Pep leaves. Then it's there's no quality in the market. Then it's FFP. Then it's the pundits are against us. Then it's VARs against us. Then it's, oh, no, no, no. It's content creators like uh, uh, Northside. He's trying to be like Lee Gunner. Big up to Lee. That's my dad. You know what I mean? Big up. You know what I'm saying? Then it's, Oh, no, no, no. When are you going to be happy? Then it's, oh, but we're putting pressure on. But the Poch era under Spurs was, oh, but you didn't win anything. But when it's Arsenal, it's, oh, we're putting pressure. It didn't have that energy when Poch kept getting second. Okay. When Ole got second with Man United, was it putting pressure on as well? Okay, it wasn't, was it? It was just deemed as a failure. You didn't get, you didn't win. So really and truly, what, what is the point in everything that we're doing? What's the point in a youth project? What is the point in anything that we're doing? Let's be real. Like the youth project thing, we've done it before. The only youth project, it wasn't even a full youth project, was the class of 92. The year I was born. The year I was born. I was on breast milk. The last time that worked. I was on breast milk. A man trying to tell me, oh, all of a sudden, oh, no, it's going to work, bro. I'm, I'm turning 32 at the end of this month. And it ain't worked yet since. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I, I don't understand it. Look, Havertz, what does he resolve? You know, back to the question. What does he resolve, Dan? Does he make our midfield better? Nope. Does he make our attack better? Nope. People say, that, oh, he's a great header of the ball. Okay, but he still only scored 14 goals. Okay, play him up front. Okay, cool. Did we not see what he did against uh, Spain? He played as a striker of, uh, for, sorry, for Germany against Spain. Six one-on-ones he missed. We're gonna ju we're just going to sweep that under the rug. Oh, but he's improving our attack. Okay, where was he in a Carabao? Where was he in the FA Cup? Where was he when we were still... We were still in contention to win the league. Where was he against the washed up Bayern Munich team that had defenders like Kimmich in bad form? Upa Meccano, bad form. The whole team in bad form. The manager already given his P45 before he even played them. Apparently Champions League isn't the same level that year, but we still got knocked out against the worst Bayern Munich team ever. Where was Kai Havertz? Where was he against Porto when we took him to penalties? Where was he? But he's fixed us, yeah? In what competition? Because at least Aaron Ramsdale, he was a midfielder and he scored important goals to win us at FA Cup. He did more as a midfielder. So where's where's Havertz? Because they when he came to Arsenal, he was sold to us as, oh, but Havertz, he scored in the Champions League for, for Chelsea. So he can't even score for us in the in the Carabao FA Cup. And if that's the barometer, where was he in the, in the Champions League? Oh, uncomfortable conversations. Okay. Uh, no problem. I'm just trying to be Lee Gunner. Big up to my guy, Lee. Big up to Kelly. Big up to Dan. Big up to everyone locked in. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, I just want to be negative.